young farmers from Kenya and Uganda who are on a three-month internship program organized by Sholima Stiftung Foundation in Germany, Young Farmers Federation of Uganda, and the Kenya National Farmers Federation visited Nord, Zuka, and Sugar Beet farms in Hanover district in Germany. They wanted to learn more on sugar beet farming and its production and to find out if it can replace the sugarcane production in Kenya and Uganda that is faced with a lot of challenges. The Young Farmers Exchange Internship Program allows young farmers from Germany to visit Uganda and also farmers from Kenya and Uganda to visit Germany to have an exchange on techniques and land skills through hand-on practicals. In agricultural industry, sugar beets are most commonly known as a commercial crop grown for sucrose production. Farmers grow the crop on large-scale farms for processors that turn the beets into sugar. Sugar beets growing is most common in Europe and North American continents. Sugar beets are similar to the familiar red-rooted garden beet but are much larger reaching about 2 to 4 pounds when mature. They tend to have shiny white roots and, as you might guess, a high sugar content, containing 13 to 22 percent sucrose. Sugar beet juice contains high levels of sucrose and it's second only to sugar cane as the major source of the world's sugar. According to sugar beet farmer, sugar beets take six months and it's normally grown around March to April and harvested around August to September. Sugar beets need crop rotation and they can't be grown after other sugar beets since it's organic farming. This is done to control pests and diseases on the farm as they are not using any chemicals on the farm. The crop can be rotated with wheat among other crops. If you harvest once, it is a period of hard more or less six months of growth, not more. Yeah? And um, uh, so what we have is, and we need a crop rotation. You can't grow sugar beet after sugar beet. So uh, 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 we normally have a crop rotation in conventional farming of more or less four years. Some do three, but that is already high risk with nematodes and, and uh, leaf diseases. Yeah, and, 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 and leaf diseases, yes. Um, in organic farming you tend to, 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 to have a rotation until 10 years. It is 6 to 10 years. So, because you don't have any possibilities to react with pesticides. You try to do it with nature. Yeah? And so, um, uh, in organic farming it is more uh, uh, usual uh, to, 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 uh, to grow cover crops, which is a very, very important part to uh, Conserve fertility of soils. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the question, the first question was, uh, what will you grow after the sugar beet? And here normally it is wheat. So the, the, the main crop in this region, I guess it is about 60 or 70 percent of all the ter terrain is, uh, uh, is winter wheat. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to sugarcane farming, the highest concentration of sugar is in the lower parts and the leaves are not taken to the factory. Though for sugar beet, the greener it is, the lesser sugar it contains. Besides, the ideal sugar beet also has only one root. Once the sugar beet is ready for harvesting after six months, the sugar beet harvester machine is used to harvest sugar beets. Modern self-propelled sugar beet harvester have predominantly six raw harvesting units. The beets are lifted from the ground by lifting shears through cleaning rollers, the transfer web, and the discharge elevators. The beets are separated from their bearing soil and transported into the holding tank of the machine. The beads are placed on the edge of the field in storage clumps or overloaded on a transport vehicle during harvesting. The leaves of the beads are removed and can be left in the field to enhance the fertility of the farm 
or can be used as animal feed for the cattle when fresh or as silage. More or less at this height, and then we cut off, uh, and, and, and they are uh, sort of mulched uh, with this rotating knives. Yeah. And then uh, there is a sliding knife which is uh, guided by this uh, sort of cone. lower part of, 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 of the leaves and what we want is more or less this yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. we want to have uh, all the all the sugar in the beet but the sugar is I mean the the, 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 the biggest part of sugar is in the lower uh, root mm -hmm. and uh, the more green you see the less sugar is in so but we want all the all the body and so we cut as, as little as possible but we don't want to have uh, leaves in the sugar factory. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, this uh, hinders cutting and uh, and it is not good for, for the process. Mm. Yeah? Okay. okay, so this is more or less, it's not an ideal bead. The ideal bead has only one root you see. The, the rest is hairy root. Those side roots show me that during seeding, uh, the soil was a bit too wet or it was not uh, in ideal condition. Uh, and if this gets more, you give, get three or four main roots and, uh, and uh, the body is not good to harvest. It can be, if it is wet, that you have a lot of, uh, lot of uh, soil that you take with. Well, we want the soil in the, uh, in the fields and not in the factory. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so this is more or less what it is. And I already explained that we Exact uh, cut uh, on the on the head of the sugar bean, and then um, uh, the rows are uh, first. Uh, this is to, 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 to guide exactly um, uh, the, the uh, what do you call this? Uh, no ground. This is growing in the ground. You see, and the sugar bee goes in like. Like this, you can't see this exactly because it is all turned up. Yeah, and so the sugar beet goes in like this, and this part lifts it up, and then those rotating pebbles throw it here in the in the machine. Once the harvesting is finished, a self-propelled clean loader for sugar beet is used to load the sugar beets into the trucks for transportation to the sugar beet company such as Nord Zucca company in Hanover city in Germany. The loader ensures gentle pickup and intensive cleaning. And the big question now is should Kenya and Uganda move from sugarcane farming to sugar beet farming. While sugarcane requires 18 months to harvest, sugar beets only require 6 months to grow and to harvest. Though, sugarcane has more sugar content as compared to sugar beet. Sugar beet also requires more energy to process as compared to sugarcane. Even though farmers in Kenya and Uganda continue to experience challenges in growing sugarcane, the question remains if they can adopt sugar beet farming and if the climate in both countries supports sugar beet production. Eric Kashara reporting from Hanover in Germany.